Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here from QBKing77.com doing a video showing you how to get free native Wi-Fi hotspot on the Sprint Samsung Galaxy S4. And what I mean by native hotspot is when you go into settings, you will see under connections there is a spot for hotspot. This uh, modification will actually get this to work natively and allow you to use hotspot for free. Sprint's not going to know unless you use obviously an insane amount of data they might flag you and send you a warning but uh, anyways this will get hotspot working. It is for the Sprint variant of the S4 only. Make sure you do not do this in any other variant. Uh, this should work for whatever build you're on whether it be MDL or MDC. MDL being the latest that is what I am on. You'll see the last three digits letting you know what build you are on. Just a quick prerequisite, you must be rooted to uh, make this modification. So if you have not rooted, go ahead and I have a video. I'll link to it in the description below on how to root. And other than that, you should be ready to go. If you have a custom recovery install, that might make the installation process a little easier, but um, I will show you how to do it if you are rooted. So once you're rooted, first step would be to click on the link in the description of the video and uh, go to a website. It's actually going to take you to my website. Uh, go ahead and scroll down. Uh, scroll down. I want to give a huge shout out to Craw RJ for uh, getting this mod working for us. You will see there's a slot for downloads. Uh, you'll see there's MDL, MDL, MDC, MDC, DX, and ODX. There is a little bit of a difference, so it's very important that you pay attention to which one to download. So for DX, if you are running a custom ROM, not the stock ROM, if you're just stock rooted. You're, that means you're on the ODEX file system. If you're running a custom ROM, if you flashed one in Torp Recovery, you could be on the DX file system. You have to check the ROM thread to see if your ROM is ODEX or DX. That's up to you to know. Uh, but if you're just stock on the stock ROM like I am, I'm actually on the stock ROM right now, that means I'm going to download the MDL ODEX uh, zip because I am on MDL and I'm also on the stock ROM, so I'm going to be ODEX. So I'm going to download this zip file. So I'm going to click on it right here. It'll take you take me to this website. Uh, it'll go ahead and count down. And once done, just click this big green button. It'll download it. I do want to make a note that if you have a custom recovery, you'll see that uh, the download's actually going to be a zip file. And inside the zip file, you, you will see these two folders. I want to make a note that if it's a zip file and you have Twerp Recovery, all you need to do is transfer the whole zip file onto your phone so just tra plug your phone in transfer it onto your internal storage of your phone and then you should be good to go just hit install and twerp or clockwork mode whichever you have and you should be done it's very simple just install the zip file in your custom recovery now if you do not feel like doing it with your custom recovery no big deal just go inside the zip file like i am right here on your uh, pc and double click on the system folder right here Double click on the framework folder and inside you'll see two files, services.jar and services.odex. You need to highlight both of them and transfer them over to your phone. You'll see I plugged in my phone, just transfer it on over you. If you have an external SD card that should work, I'm just going to transfer it over to the internal storage. I actually already have these files on my phone, I believe. Uh, but anyways, just transfer them on over to your phone. When you go to phone, you should be able to see them. You'll see down there you have services ODEX and services JAR. So make sure those two files are on your phone. Once they are, you can go ahead and eject your phone and go back to your device. All right, once we have those two files on our device, uh, we're going to need to download and install a root browser. I just recommend ROM Toolbox or ROM Toolbox Lite, whichever you have. That's what I recommend. It has a root browser built into the application. It's a great application. Definitely check it out. But anyways, go into root browser, and what you're going to want to do is scroll down and go to where it says SD card, and scroll all the way down, and then hit uh, multi-select that's down at the bottom. So hit multi-select and press on both of those services files, services.jar, services.odex, and hit copy. So put those on your clipboard, both of those services file. Now we need to go ahead and go into the system files and paste it. So now just go into the system folder. And then you will see framework as well. So inside the system framework folder, go ahead and scroll down and you can find those services file. You'll see there's services.jar, services.odex. Both of them are right there. If you do want to make a backup just in case something goes wrong, what I recommend doing is, um, of course, if you have a customer recovery, make an Android backup. If you want to back up these files, what you can do is just rename them and just put dot bak at the end of the file extension. What that's gonna do is leave them in your systems folder uh, and you don't have to delete them then, which could help. So uh, it'll rename it. It's gonna take a little while, it's in the system folder, so give it a little bit of time. 
Okay, once that's done renaming, you'll see services.jar.bak is right there, then services.odex, you can rename that as well and put .bak at the end, again, just to rename the file extension. If something goes wrong, you can delete the ones that we're pasting and then delete that file extension and those uh, files will still be in there just in case uh, anything happens. Okay, and once those are done renaming, you see services.jar.bak, services.odex.bak, you can just paste those two files into the system framework folder now. Just go ahead and hit paste. It's gonna take it from your internal storage on your phone and then paste it into this system framework folder. Obviously replacing those two files that we just renamed. All right, so it just got done pasting. It took almost two minutes, so just kind of keep that in mind. Just be patient when it's at the copying screen, not a big deal, but you'll see services.jar, services.odex, both of them are there, and then you'll also see the old ones, the .bak that we have there as well. So. There you have it, you should be done. What I recommend doing is going home and then just go ahead and reboot your phone real quick. So after you paste those files in, go ahead and restart your phone and then I'll be back once it is done rebooting. All right, so my phone has booted back up. Now to turn it on, just go ahead and go into the settings menu and you will go ahead and go into hotspot and then you can just go ahead and turn it on. Once you turn it on, it'll let you know what the password is. It should be your phone number right there. So I'm gonna turn it on. I'm gonna go ahead and blur out my phone number so you guys aren't calling me, but if you wanna configure it, just hit the configure button. It is on now, so I'm gonna go ahead and go to my computer and show you that I'm connected. You'll see I have 4G LTE, so I will be running it off of that. All right, so you see, uh, I'm on Windows 8, so this is why it shows up, but you'll see it's right there called SPHL710 4CD. It might be something a little bit different at the end, but uh, I'm just gonna hit connect. I already have it saved, my password, so I shouldn't have to type it in. But again, it should connect to this network. Uh, on your phone, it actually says one device connected once it is connected. So you'll see it's connected to just this network, which would be my phone on LTE. So you'll see, I'm gonna go ahead and go to a site and just run through and show you guys that it works. So if I wanna go ahead and click on an article on my site, it should load up. You'll see it's loading up fine. Again, I'm on LTE, so I get some pretty good speed. So you shouldn't have much waiting time. If you wanted me to run a quick speed test, I can go ahead and do that. Again, this is all tethering to my phone's network since Sprint is unlimited. Again, you don't have to worry about uh, data usage, etc. I don't know why it's having me over here on my server. I should be in Illinois. But, uh, oh well, we'll go ahead and see. I mean, it's using a, a Kansas server. No big deal. Uh, download speed should be fine, but that should be it. Uh, again, if you have a custom recovery, you could just go ahead and flash the zip file that you do download. You don't need to extract those files. However, you can if you want to because you are rooted. You'll see download speeds are actually very good on uh, LTE where I'm at right now. So it's it, it's nice. So uh, hopefully this video has helped you out. I would really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up and you subscribe to me. That would be awesome. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. If you have any questions, feel free to ask, leave a comment. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.